what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today I have a great one for you we're going to be talking about how you can fund your interactive brokers with WISE it is now easier than before to easily link your WISE account just like how you'd link an American bank account to your interactive brokers account so I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process and how you can do all of that so let's head over to my laptop right now and get started so to get started head over to interactivebrokers.com the link will be in the description of this video once you're on the home page select login select login to portal then specify your credentials and login once you have multi-factor authentication enabled you'll be prompted to provide a response string so here you're going to use your mobile app to generate the response code so from the menu of the mobile app you're going to scroll down until you see this option to generate code so you're going to provide this code on the screen so this is what the response string look like if you can see it clearly right and then all you need to do now is enter this string Once you have provided the string, select login. It would be good to provide a trusted person to contact. So for me, I'm going to say ask me later. If you're using the mobile app to do this, the interface is pretty much the same. It's just that it's on a smaller screen. So you're going to search for transfer and pay, right? Then select transfer funds. Now here you have three options, make a deposit, make a withdrawal or transfer funds between accounts. So what we want to do is make a deposit. So select that option. Now here you can see I have two deposit methods which I had it before. Here I had a transfer wise manually, right? I have a money network card. So what you're going to do now is select use a new deposit method. Then select this little icon, then scroll down to the end of the screen and select transfer from wise balance so this method is a very quick method to fund your account as you can see you can trade your money within hours right please keep in mind that when you are funding your account wise charges a fee for currency conversion for example if your account is in canadian dollars or great britain pounds right then once you're transferring to us dollars on interactive brokers wise transfer will charge a conversion fee so you have to keep that in mind so select transfer if you don't have a wise account you can always open one i'll leave a link to a video showing you step by step how you can get this done in the description of this video once you have your wise account select login this will take you to the wise website here you're going to provide your username and password and then select login now because i have two-factor authentication enabled I'll now need to open my mobile phone and authorize this login. So here it's asking if it is me. So I'm going to select yes, it is me. So basically interactive brokers would like to access your information, the account details, the number of accounts, transfers, recipients, right? So you're going to select give access to proceed. So here I'll be selecting my US account. So I'm going to specify that I want to send $10. So here it's saying the fee is 39 cents. So what I'm going to be doing now is that I'm going to be changing the value to see if the fee is a fixed fee or it is a percentage. So let's say I specify $1,000. The fee pretty much remains the same. Let's see $100. The fee is 39 cents. So I'm going to send $10. So the estimated arrival time it's giving me is April the 6th. So select continue. Review and confirm the deposit. You are sending $10. The fee is $0.39 cents and you'll receive $9.61. So select confirm to proceed. So my transfer has been successfully submitted. Here it's asking for a feedback. It's always good to provide feedback so they get an understanding of how the service is beneficial to you. So I'm going to give them a five star feedback. Dismiss. Now let's select finish. Go back to portfolio. So I'm just confirming the money wasn't deposited instantly, right? 
So select make a deposit. Here you can see the wise deposit method. So let's select that option again. And now you won't have to go through the steps again because your account is now successfully linked to wise transfer. So all you have to do now in this case is just select the balance that you want to make the transfer from. Guys, in my last video, I announced a giveaway of a $5,000 gift card. And that winner is, and the winner of that gift card goes to KAS. So it's K.A.S. This gift card can be redeemed on JADeals.com. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.